So I have a really deep question for you right now. What if all the pain and trauma that you've been experiencing is part of your greater soul purpose? This is kind of a difficult subject matter for some people to swallow. So I understand if you can't watch it, but I encourage you to force yourself to do it because it's gonna change your ego and how it looks at reality in one shape way or form. Welcome to the channel. My name is Excel and this is the Onto High community where we teach you all about Reiki, Ascension, Psychic Abilities, and so much more. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. So, all right, a lot of times people are like, oh my God, all these horrible things have happened to me. How do I get out of it? Oh my God, why is it happening to me? It's so unfair. One of the things that I had to learn in my spiritual journey, and I've helped a lot of people see the same thing, once you reach a certain level of ascension, you end up realizing that everything that's ever happened to you in your reality has happened for you. Even if it didn't seem like it was happening for you, it did. You need to change the narrative today as to how it affected you. I grew up in a family that was super abusive. I had an alcoholic father. I didn't have a good support system. And my family, it was like a, uh, do or die kind of situation like everyone was out to get each other and like I had to take care of myself because nobody else was really looking out for me and when I was growing up I really realized that that was one of the blessings that I had because due to that situation I was able to now have a different perception than people who would have had like everything handed to them in their life you know while they were growing up I was able to spot specific negative patterns I was able to read people in a different way I was able to then develop a personal willpower and strength to be self self-sufficient independent and powerful in what i wanted to do because i couldn't depend on anyone else but myself and at the time before i had this realization i used to be like whoa you know my family sucks and like i can't believe that happened to me why did that have to happen to me couldn't it have been easier like this current version of me would have loved to be born in a super rich family that didn't have to do anything but then at the same time if i would have been born into that family i wouldn't be the shaman that i am today because everything would have been so much easier for me and i wouldn't have acquired all the wisdom that i gained having my upbringing with my family and what seems to be toxicity right so toxicity or negative vibrations are only a polarity or a dualistic concept that you hold in your ego what, do, what does that mean? Your ego is what's telling you something was positive or negative, okay? In the greater scope of reality and the cosmos, everything just is. Both positive and negative exists, and really, it's just your perception. I'll give you a great example. You can give the same dish to two people, right? You cook them a really fancy salmon, right? And it's the most best salmon that you've, like any, anyone in the world has ever had, right? You give it to two separate people. One person is like, oh my God, this is to die for. Oh my God, where has this been all of my life? And then the other person that's eating it is like, God, this is disgusting, ew. Why? Because it's perception. That one dish is neutral until someone has an experience with that dish and dictates it to be positive or negative. The person that's dictating a situation like the salmon dish to be positive or negative is your ego. Your ego is the one that's always gonna find a reason as to why it needs to anchor itself to a specific storyline or situation to drive you forward. Your ego's job is not only to preserve like your current belief system, but it's also there to help you create more belief systems that support that particular one. So you have to allow yourself to sit in this in this form of meditative space, journaling, um, doing breath work, whatever it is that you want to do. And you have to allow yourself to then be like, okay, from my ego's perspective, this situation seemed negative, right? From my ego's perspective, this is negative, but in the greater scope of reality, it's neutral. It wasn't positive or negative. When you put yourself in that position of, okay, like my ego recognizes it's negative, but ultimately at a cosmic level, it's not really positive or negative. What was the major lesson and why did that happen for me to get to where I am? And that's where you, when you become authentically open to that possibility and you're willing to be wrong about your own perceptions, which I've talked about in another video, you'll be able to then really unlock the contents of your universe. Your trauma 
your negative experiences, including your positive experiences, are part of the greater blueprint of your soul purpose. It's the moment when you stop demonizing, ostracizing, or making a polaric statement on the things that have happened to you, that then you can move forward, you can reclaim your power, and you can then start manifesting more powerfully. Everything, everything, everything is designed by your hand. And I know sometimes, depending on what dimensional consciousness right now you're hearing me from, if you're super 3D and you're trying to get over to like 5D, it might be really hard for you to accept that, hey, everything you've ever done is your design. You decide, you decided what was gonna happen to you before you stepped into your body this lifetime. And then a lot of the other things that have happened to you, especially if you're an adult, have been because you've chosen not to change or you've entertained the same vibration over and over and over again. A great example is like being in a toxic relationship that you know you're supposed to get out of, you're getting the synchronicities to get out of this relationship, but for some reason your own insecurity or your lack of self-worth is keeping you in this vibration. You are not giving yourself the worth and the confidence to get out of the situation. It is your creation to stay in an abusive relationship long term because you will not change your consciousness, right? You will not choose something different. And this is the, the end result of everything that happens. Many times like you have a really drastic experience and you're like, I don't understand why this would happen. Like it must be a, a curse or some negative vibration. The other day I had a lady call me and said, um, I'm seeing demons in my house and I, I had to tell her, hey, well, demons are essentially messengers because angels and demons are the same creature. They have different philosophies on life, but both demons, which are angels and demons, are beings that are messengers, divine messengers. So even when a demon's in your reality, it's not necessarily trying to harm you. It's trying to make you aware of something. And harm only comes to you when you do not become conscious because you're becoming ignorant. You're choosing to give into fear. Oftentimes, when you learn how to become a really proficient shaman, you'll run into a demon and you recognize that the moment you don't give it fear, like if you don't give the demon fear, it has no power over you so then you can have a conversation and ask it why are you here what is your message what is the interest sometimes the demon will tell you sometimes it won't sometimes you end up piecing it together but you have to recognize that every experience cosmic or physical is happening on your behalf by your own intervention great example is i wanted to learn how to become more um, powerful in my reality to create the things that I really, 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 really wanted out of my reality. And I asked the cosmos to give me that answer, to give me that lesson. I started channeling Chinamasta and Kali, which are two Hindu goddesses of time destruction and letting go of things that you know don't serve you anymore. And they taught me very difficult lessons that I had to experience physically and absorb mentally so then I could get the next manifestation that I was creating in my reality. Without those difficult experiences, then I would have had a very limited perception and it would have taken me longer to get to where I wanted to. So every moment that comes through your life, you need to give yourself the ability to look at it, to say, hey, it, how is this happening for me? How did I create this with the universe or with whoever I'm being involved with so that we could have a better, higher level of understanding for ourselves and the rest of the cosmos? Everything is a divine orchestration. Everything is synchronicity. Everything is quantum in the sense that it's like clockwork, right? You just have to get down to that nitty gritty, change your perception on what it means to you to be a victim of your reality or a victim of a specific outcome that's been happening. And then you will be able to transcend and unlock much more beautiful, magical mysteries of the cosmos for yourself through the law of attraction and so much more. If this was really helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and let me know if you've resonated with this, if you've learned this lesson already uh, below, because I would love to hear your personal experiences. Thank you so much for being here. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching or you're looking to join our mystery school check out the links in the description below where you can go ahead and join us and i can't wait to see you in our next episode <music>